Well, last week on Lakeland News, we featured an innovator who is working on a project for renewable energy using a method called cold fusion. He loves science, but he also loves art and getting creative. He owns several buildings that combine these two completely different aspects. Hannah Tran has more in this week's In Focus. This is all made out of cob. This building was made by hand using an ancient technique and material. The bathtub is almost made entirely out of cob also. This material is consistently present throughout. We had to make a bunch of cob bricks and, and stack those up. The material is used as a foundation for the building. It's a mixture of simplicity. This is made out of a material called cob. I also call it mud or, or adobe. Cob or adobe is a simple mix of clay, straw, and sand. And when you mix the clay and sand and straw, it gets hard. That's amazing. Just behind this plaster right here is a wall made up primarily of straw. The plaster itself is made up of clay and mud. It can get pretty heavy at times. Hunt installed this cage to make sure that the plaster is intact and supportive enough for the entire building. This is Old Main. This is the building we're in right now, right? Paul Hunt's wife, Lynn, is passionate about the building. It's not only an expression of art. It houses a host of offices to study energy efficient housing. This is a campus. We call this building Old Main. It was our first building. This this building uses less energy to heat up the entire area. The main source of heating is unusual. Windows. Matter of fact, I would say about 80 per, per, percent of our heat c c comes in the windows. And it's also efficient during the summer, a time when it's ideal for heat to escape. Probably most of it also goes out the windows. But. It's a mixture of fun and practicality in this building. Not every room was meant to teach a lesson on sustainability. Well, in this room, it's mostly building the the uh, staircase. And a lot of it's just playing around. Once you get your hands in the mud, you just want to play. This ancient technique, making a home with fingertips and clay, is laborious. However, for Paul Hunt, it was just another project of enjoyment and education. Hannah Tran, Lakeland News. Stuff. There are several students who work on Hunt's campus site, and there's a mix of buildings on the campus. The campus is about 70 acres in all. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.